Florida is another of the states that could make all the difference. And if early numbers are any indication, ballot counters have their work cut out for them and already have been put to the test, although Florida's used to big voter tallies. Nearly 9 million people have already cast ballots, and that is a significant number. The total number of votes cast there in 2016 in the state, about 9.6 million. It's already almost there in the early vote. Both Trump and Biden consider Florida and its 29 electoral college votes a must-win state, and polls suggest, once again, it's going to be a tight race. Katie Simpson is there. Florida is going to be one of the first states to release a surge of early results shortly after the polls close at 7 o'clock tonight. Election officials have been counting and tabulating ballots since October 15th, the millions of votes cast early in person and by mail. We got a sneak peek inside the room where it happens. Here in Miami-Dade County, these workers process up to 40,000 ballots a day, but they have no idea what those early results look like as that is kept secret until the polls close. We don't see the cumulative results until election night. Think of these tabulation machines as a big calculator. It gets added every day starting since October 15th, and on election night then we hit the equal sign, and that's when you see the results. Democratic nominee Joe Biden could jump out to an early lead in Florida because more Democrats have been taking advantage of the expanded voting options during the pandemic. Biden's team is not likely to take much comfort if that happens. Republicans are expecting a surge of in-person votes today, and it will take a few hours to get those results counted. Florida is the largest swing state up for grabs with 29 electoral college votes. President Donald Trump won it by just over 100,000 votes in 2016. Four years later, this race is also too close to call, and both campaigns know every vote here matters. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Miami, Florida.